Welcome to the Dreamer Dreamer Place. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are looking for the update notice. I'm gonna refresh the page right now, and yes, we got it. And we also have an event territory which I will go through in just a bit. I'm super excited. I'm gonna open the update notice right now. I have not looked at it yet, so this is the first time I'm gonna open it. Okay. Greetings Noble Knights, here is the news for the third week update and event notice for September. You can acquire the 7 Knights of All Heroes in a special dungeon. Celestial Guardians have remade, Mercure's Dark Magic Lab has been adjusted and event territory has returned. Okay, 30,000 rupees, not gonna care about that because it's gonna be very very tough. Okay, Truth and Freya, we are so excited. Uh, if I sound very sleepy, that's because I literally just crawled out of bed. <laughs> okay. Okay, Truth and Freya, we're gonna look at Truth first. Reflex all damage taken by 50%. Wow, she has Reflex now. This is more than Suter. Increases physical attack and defense by 10% each time HP drops by 10%. So she has a Berserker Ring effect, but it also includes defense, which is the complete opposite of Sage actually, because Sage decreases um, by 5 times, 5 turns, I guess by 50% so she totally counters that decrease from Sage uh, to give herself 100% because there's actually no limit right here. Okay so she can go all the way to 100% if I'm not wrong. And she has stun immunity, she provides stun immunity for 12 turns, oh my gosh that is amazing. So stun immunity counters Suter and Rosie, <laughs> okay that's pretty interesting. She deals 500% physical damage to 3 enemies, has critical rate and decreases the awakening gauge by half. Okay, it decreases enemies awakening gauge by half. So that is a uh, that's very efficient because it's on a regular scale, even though the cooldown is pretty long. Uh, so compared to Milia, I think we don't really have a hero right now that decreases awakening gauge um compared to Milia. Milia's one is on the awakened skill. I don't think there are other heroes that decrease awakening gauge on their regular skill so far in the meta. The next skill decrease, uh, deals 350% of 4 enemies. Actually, her skills have very high damage multiplier, by the way. Yeah, so she de deals additional damage equal to 20% of max HP. That is a lot of damage. That's even more damage. That's pretty much the same multiplier, uh, same kind of effect like uh, Sage. But Sage, he only deals this effect to poison enemies. And she also removes shields. Hmm. Currently, there are not many heroes that use shields, so I'm not sure where this one will come in to play. And uh, maybe she could be useful in future PvE modes as well. Remove shield. Okay. Uh, she deals for her Awakened skill, she deals 500% physical damage to 4 enemies, ignores 50% defense, life steals back 50%, decrease wealth duration. This is a very good skill as well. Because thanks to the life steal. She has self sustenance. Um, okay, and for her. Oh, so for effect attack, she has 50% chance to launch the effect attack, which is pretty new because previously we either had 30% or 100%. So, the 50% chance is a first time, first thing. Uh, she deals 300% to the target, so there's no extra effects. So, I guess that's why it's 50%. Um, oh, she has defense offset as well on her this skill. If you unlock her exclusive item, which is insane. This is the same kind of uh, power that Fenra has. So true, it's gonna be insanely strong. She has lethal rate plus twenty percent, and she also decreases her awakened skill gauge by three, which means I think she gets to use her awakened skill much earlier. Yeah, I think she gets to use her Awakened skill much earlier. So it's 7 gauges instead of 10 gauges. Which means she has the potential to deal damage very very early and reduce buff duration earlier as well. So overall, very very good skill set for True. I think she's definitely going to be part of physical teams. Which makes me wonder how Freya is going to be. Okay, Freya decreases physical damage taken by 40%. Uh, if the damage received is higher, she uh, survives on 1 HP and she becomes immune to paralyze. Wow, okay. So she totally counters Fenra. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense because Truth counters Rosie and now 
Fer Ferrell is gonna counter Fenrir. Is there any other one that uses Paralyze? Rosie too as well. She counters Rosie. So Rosie is countered by both of Freya and True. That's quite weird. No, she doesn't counter Freya. Uh, Rosie, I mean. Uh, she counters Fenrir for sure. Yeah. So for her first skill, she deals 400% to 4 enemies. Ignore defense. Exploit vulnerability. That's still there. Uh, decrease status effect resist rate by 20% for 4 turns. This is great. This is really, really good. Because it really helps to uh, go in. Um, how to say? It, it stays with the theme of status effect because magic heroes use status effect a lot. Yep, so this is really good and it deals a lot of damage with expert vulnerability. 400% to 4 enemies compared to truth skill is actually more. Yeah, but truth does have this effect so it's kind of well balanced I guess. Uh, for her Radiant Storm, she deals 30,000 fixed damage to 3 enemies, decrease buff duration by 1 turn. So this one, hmm... Doesn't seem very strong. 30,000 could be pretty strong actually. I, no, I'm not too sure. We have to see in action. Uh, because previously so far, all our fixed damage has only been 10,000. And Sage has 20,000 if I'm... 25,000 if I'm not wrong. Yeah, so I think Freya is the highest so far. And then for Awaken skill, she deals 400% to 4 enemies. Deals 20,000 fixed damage as well. And it has an 80% chance to blind. So blind is back. And I think blind is currently a uh, status that is not resisted against yet. So this is pretty useful. Uh, if you can see that comparing to truth, truth does not have any status effects. Okay, truth is pure, pure power. P sheer power. She only, yeah, basically all power. But uh, Freya, she has blind. She has reduced status effect. Uh, that's pretty good. Resist rate, I mean. And for her effect attack, she does also decrease block rate of target by 50% for 3 turns. So previously, if you remember, she would deal damage to 3 targets. I think they changed that, which is quite sad because the 3 targets was super fun to use as a counter hero. So here she also cleanses, which is interesting. She has a cleanse on her regular skill, which is very good because uh, I think apart from Rosie, we don't have magic heroes, we, or in fact, we don't have we don't have heroes that cleanse on a regular skill. Yeah, Noah cleanses on her awakened skill, so this is new. She has crit rate plus twenty percent, and she also increases crit damage of all allies by fifty percent. Wow! Wow! This is actually useful. This is actually really useful, as even in PvE, because um, then you don't have to, if you have a space in the slot, of course, then you don't have to cast Fenris skill at all. I mean, you can cast his skill for the um, block nullification, but if you don't want to, you can actually sub in Freya. And I think Freya is very good for Velika teams, because uh, for Shane, Shane has a crit damage buff already. But for Velika, she does rely on Live Streamer Scoop. Live Streamer Scoop buffs crit damage by 40%. Okay, so Freya actually trumps that. And if you have Freya and you have um, Lina, for example, you can actually just use a Lina buff and you don't have to use, uh, you don't have to cast Lina's Awakened skill actually. Yeah, and that's actually good because. Uh, currently, I know a lot of players don't have live streamer school, so I think what they're trying to do is even though they made an event hero which is pretty good and still usable despite I know um, so many heroes coming out after that, you can still use live streamer school. But if you don't have live streamer school, you can actually use other options, which is good. I like the idea behind that. And live streamer school is still very unique on her own because she is a healer and a buffer. It's herself. Um, but there are other buffers coming out along the way with separate parts of their of Life Rimmer Scoot's ability. Okay, so I definitely see Truth being used, and in fact, Truth's uh, skill set feels more appealing <laughs> just because of the power that she has. I'm not too sure about Freya yet. I will want to try Freya though. So it's gonna be two different teams for sure that they will be used in, um, and Freya. I expected more power, but I guess she really goes in line with the magic concept and having that paralyzed immunity is insanely good. Okay. 
Nokia's Dark Magic, like, wow, okay, first thing I see, the Berserkering, I'm super, super excited. Yep, so they did put the three biggest, biggest uh, uh, items there. Of course, we don't have any... Um, yeah, basically the three most important uh, items. The item, the jewel, and the accessory. They are in the 3000 experiment point. So, this is very accessible right now. Berserker Ring is super accessible right now. Every free-to-play player will have a chance to get a Berserker Ring, which is great. Okay. Um, and you can even get Celestial Accessories and Willful Rings and uh, Guardian Rings and Galileus Isabella are Selectors, which is 1000, which is actually... I think that's the current tier, right? Yeah, 1000 is the current one. So 3000 is just 3 times as long, but you get the Berserker Ring at the end of the day. So if you are a free-to-play player, you don't have time, you can't do the... Uh, Celestial Heavenly Stairs, I think going for the Berserker Ring is definitely the way to go. Yeah, basically, it's actually really, really good. I will definitely want to use it on the Berserker Ring or the Celestial item. Next up, we have Hero Sanctum. Five event sanctums. Okay, there's going to be uh, Hero Sanctums, which are catered for events which is great, we'll check it out later. You can power up the event sanctums to increase hero stats, which is cool because um, we will get a new hero by the way. Okay, so we can use that hero, power up that hero, to power up our main hero stats. Okay, so we will check that out later. Okay, it's right here actually. <laughs> okay, so there's this new slime thing. They're finally having slimes now. Slimes are going to be in the event territory only. We can get the material hero now. <laughs> it feels so weird to say. You can get the hero now during the event territory period only. Uh, you need 50. So, okay. So, you will need 6 copies for each. Right? Oh, this buff all heroes. Wow. So, this is really good. The buff is... 150 points Okay, okay, I, I will take that Okay, so basically you need six nows per sanctum which equates to 30 nows You need to get 30 nows uh, I'm not sure how easy they drop Okay, but 30 nows Sounds doable, especially since they are three star hero. They don't need like Insane transcendence, they, you can transcend them at 3 star. So 30 nows, and you clear these and you get all these buffs. So that's a pretty fun thing to do. Event sanctums, I think, are more fun than the regular sanctums. The regular sanctums are just too much hard work, which I'm still working on it. Limited edition accessory package. So this random accessory has been released. Oh my gosh, this is insane. This is insane! Yo! This is... What kind of pay to win thing is this? <laughs> Resets Awakened skill when using Awakened skill one time. Okay, so when you use your Awakened skill, you get to use it again for one time. After that. This is really, really good. How many times can you buy? You can only buy once. <laughs> okay. Um, this is really good because I'm, I'm thinking about PvE terms. Okay, Velika is gonna use this very well, but I don't think you will want to use this for Velika, of course, because PvP is a thing. But then again, if you think about it, PvP, if you use this, you have to make sure your hero will survive that long to use it. Okay, it, otherwise, it will go to waste completely, right? Um, yeah. So if you use this on Velika, she doesn't need seek. You didn't. You don't need to cast another skill to reset her awakened skill. She can automatically, you know, reset her own awakened skill, which is super neat. Wow. Did not think this. Did not think we will come to this. But okay. Uh. Okay. Back. Not talking about packages. Uh. Oops. Okay. Yeah. So. Interesting. What? 
Oh, we get two costumes for Freya and Trude, which is great. These two are sick, super sick. Yep, these two are sick. For this one though, for Trude, she looks like Mula. <laughs> okay, so there's gonna be push check-in event, which means you will get items at certain check-in timings of the day. Um, as we have experienced before, they do overlap. If there, if there are two timings in the day, they do overlap. So you don't have to worry about missing them, just have to check in once uh, during that same period. So for today, we do get one 10 plus 1 hero ticket and uncommon subset stone. Um, and then we get rare subset stones and celestial accessory selectors, which is good. Keys, uh, we get. Oh, we do get Typhoon Essence, that's awesome and black gemstone 10 day on the 10th day which is the 22nd of august so that's really really good these two are super rare please make sure you check in on this day okay and we have a death kagura time chest which gives us rare subset stones celestial accessory selectors guardian rings celestial accessory sub okay 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 Pretty nice, pretty nice. We can never ever uh, say no to all these because you know you know how fast they run out. Okay, and we have a special dungeon, Galileus and Milia. If you do not acquire a four-star Galileus or Milia, the drop rate increases on the next try. You can get wow. I don't need both, okay, but that's pretty neat. You can get Galileus and Milia uh, from drops. Huh. Wait. Okay, so how many can we do this? You can eat you can need it okay you if you don't acquire the drop rate increases one time per account. If you don't acquire four star miller you will get the four okay yeah 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 we get that. Okay, so you only get it one time. So if you get it today, you could never ever get it anymore so there's two uh, dungeons i believe it seems yeah basically there's two dungeons so very very cool very very cool no idea what's the drop rate okay um but basically if you don't get him you will have a higher chance tomorrow 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 all the way until you get him uh i don't <laughs> Okay, so for a lot of players, uh, not not a lot, a lot of players. I mean, for the for players who have been playing through all the way to now and summoning and summoning, you may have a very high level Galida, so this will come in very handy. Of course, for me, I don't really need them, but okay, I'll just take them. Which really, really makes me feel that the uh, the the way. That, that I can actually synthesize for five really soon <laughs> given the millers that are coming but anyway okay we have event territory we'll talk about that and we have a Mercure's Dark Magic Lab reset so they will give you the reward uh, they will give you the highest tier reward which was actually the Galadon and Isabella accessory uh, before this change so they will give everyone that so don't worry about that uh, Whatever you were selecting, I don't think they are giving you that. <laughs> okay, they will just give you the Gallus Isabella accessory selector. Yeah. So unfortunately, because I wanted a willful ring. <laughs> yeah, but okay. We have a new lobby team and it's beautiful as heck. Okay, go set this. It's amazing. It's amazing. Super beautiful. Okay, so with that all in place, I think this update is pretty exciting because True and Freya, and you have uh, a lot of these stuff. I actually, re I'm really tempted to get the, that accessory. <laughs> I'm sorry, but yeah, I'm really tempted to get this. I don't I have no idea where I'll use it, but you know, wow. I'm I'm just being honest. Okay, now the Hero Sanctum. Oh no no no! Why are we looking at this? Event territory, event territory. Okay, so the event territory, um, take note is a two week event. Okay, it starts next week. It starts next week. Always starting one week later. Okay, 
two weeks though it takes two weeks up to the 15th of october if i'm not wrong 15th of october is the sec is the fifth anniversary update okay so we have two weeks to do this which is great because the previous time we had one week uh we we are getting all these yep so i i'm not sure there is a change yeah, so uh, no, there is no change. There is no change in the, the the heroes, the enemies. So that's okay. That's good. And then we, it's the same thing. We just get the lucky cards and then we trade them in. Each time you register, you get a now. Oh, okay. And just now I said we need how many? 30. 30 nows yeah so okay that's really really cool so you need to register 30 times um, um so uh i'm thinking the best way to do this is to to register as soon as you get a ticket a number that can ensure that you're gonna register for 30 times right because if you store up too many and you register everything at one time, then I I, I think it will just count as one attempt, one one register, re one registration. So then you will get only one now. So it's better if you continuously check in after you get even one number. Maybe I'm not too sure. Oh no no no! The, I'm sorry, I forgot how that worked. The registration comes only when there's a full set. And then each full set counts as one registration. Okay, correct. Yeah, so you will get the 30th now at this point. Yeah, okay, that's correct. Yeah, so so ignore what I said earlier about registering one number. Registra registering one number. Every time you get a full set of five numbers, it will count as one registration. So you just need to do it 30 times. And at 60, you get a berserkering as well, which is great. So all these event territory things are... All these event dungeons are awesome. And now goes to your ev material heroes ev inventory, so make sure you do have space for him. And you get a Freya's costume as well, which is the gr the Grandmaster's costume. So I think in future, because I think Truth and Scoot also have their Grandmaster's costume. So it's very likely that future event territories, we will get those costumes from there, which is interesting. And then we also have the lucky ticket which is the lottery uh, whereby you choose five numbers and you put them in and then you know at the end of the event if you match you get 30,000 rubies if you match four numbers you get 2,000 oh that's a huge drop <laughs> that's 2,000 rubies and if you match three numbers you get 500 rubies correct okay and then of course you can also ask for your guild members so what i realized for this is that you do not just um get your card when it hits 10. yeah you actually can hold on to the request all the way until it maxes out and then you collect all 20 at one time and that's the most um, ideal situation so if you put in a request for the lap number eight you can actually wait for four guild members to give you that number and you will get 20 and then you collect it all at one time that is already easily 20 registrations for that number which you don't need to think about okay so it's really really good that way uh previously i actually collected it when it was just five <laughs> so that was super lame for me okay so very exciting news lots of stuff coming this update uh, in just I think another, another two hours ish um, so stay tuned for the update oops yeah so update here so stay tuned for the update I'm super excited to test truth and free out let me know what you guys think of them in the comments below after reading this and what you think of basically everything the Machios Dark Magic Light as well super nice Okay, see you guys later for the update videos. Thank you so much and see you.